There's still a number of questions out there concerning the death of Osama bin Laden and a growing demand that continues now to see actual pictures of his body. A lot of people say that is the only proof that they will accept, but that comes with a great deal of concern. Uh, we do have the very latest for you this morning on the killing of Osama bin Laden. And this is important because the official story actually keeps changing. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin is at the Pentagon with new details on Sunday's high-risk operation. David, good morning to you. Why, in fact, does this story keep changing? What would think that the White House especially wants the message here to be consistent? Well, they have changed their stories, and you got to remember this was uh, an operation where everybody's adrenaline was flowing, and, and it was over in a very brief time, and it does take time to get a coherent story. But the issue here is whether and how uh, bin Laden fought back. Originally, the administration said that bin Laden had quote-unquote resisted. Uh, but now the administration uh, acknowledges that he was unarmed. Now, there's no sympathy for bin Laden here, uh, but this is an issue because uh, the administration has insisted this was not a kill operation and that they were prepared to capture him if he surrendered. So now we are trying to find out exactly what happened in that room. But the trouble is there are only three people in there. There was bin Laden, the SEAL who shot him, and bin Laden's wife, who was lying on the floor after having been shot in the leg. Obviously, we're not going to hear from bin Laden. The, the wife is in uh, Pakistan, in Pakistani custody, and that leaves the seal. And until we hear his version, we are never going to know for sure why he pulled the trigger. A lot of people would love to talk to that, that man this morning uh, and get that version. But meantime, well, let's talk about these questions over the pictures, which may or may not be released. As I understand it, the president will have final say here. He will make the decision whether or not those photos will be released. But there must be a fair amount of discussion happening at the Pentagon and among intelligence officials as to what would be the best move in their eyes. Well, I think this is not seen so much as a move, as, but as, as part of history. Now this is, we're beyond the news story here. This, this, this is history, and, and I think everybody uh, agrees that eventually uh, the photo is going to have to be released. I've had it described to me, and it does sound uh, very gruesome. Remember, uh, bin Laden was shot twice at close range, once in the chest and once in the head, right above his left eye. And that blew open his skull, exposing the brain, and it also blew out his eye. So these are not going to be... Uh, pictures for the squeamish, but this this is a historical record, and I just personally can't imagine how it would remain uh, secret for very much longer. Yeah, you make a great point. <clears throat> David Martin at the Pentagon this morning. David, thanks.